Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, I just want to let you know that it is not about religion. Yeah, I said it. It's not about religion, y'all. If that's the case, let me ask you a question. What religion is Jesus? <laughs> is he a Methodist preacher? Is he a, a seven-day advantage? Is he a, a Pentecostal? Is he, uh, is he Jehovah Witness? Where in the Bible? Where in the Bible, where it states uh, Jesus' religion? Where in the Bible that it says that he was a Baptist preacher? Where in the Bible that it said that he was Church of God and Christ? Listen, we could debate about that later. But facts are facts. And you have to just learn to stand on them. Okay? It's not about religion. You know what religion uh, do? Religion always points you to the future for relief. Yeah, it transfer your hopes outside of this world. We even sing about it. I fly away. You know what I'm saying? One of these old morning. <laughs> You're going to be going home real soon. This sounds like death to me. Sounds like death to me. We, we, we are so conditioned uh, uh, to just go to heaven. That's what religion has taught me. When Jesus simply said, what was his first? What was his first sermon, ladies and gentlemen? What did he say? He said, repent. That means change your old ways. That means your old ways of thinking. You have to change that. For the kingdom is here. Okay? He even, he even told us what we needed to do. What did Jesus say, y'all? What did he say? He said that, that if you seek the kingdom first, Seek the kingdom first. That's what he told us to do. And he even gave us a template on how to pray, y'all. He even gave us a template on how to pray. What did he say, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, y'all, because I'm coming to bust some heads today. What did he say? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. <laughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. This earth <laughs> where we thriving in right now as it is in heaven. Religion is so focused on you leaving earth instead of impacting it. Come on now. I got to put something new in there. And, and it is God's desire for us to enter the kingdom life now. Now, if you think I can't here to play with you today, <laughs> well, darn it, I am not. Greetings, greetings, my my beautiful, beautiful brothers and sisters, yes, it's your girl, your big homie, T.T. And welcome, y'all, to T.T. Talk. Oh, we got some stuff to say today. But first, before we get, to, before we move on, you know I got to give a special shout out to the APAP team for allowing your girl to represent God and his kingdom. And now, hunty, I don't take your ears or your time for advantage, okay? Thank you for tuning in on this glorious, glorious day. But before we get to the yams. Before we get to the yams, I got to say this. Why do life have to catch us before we make the change? Why do we have to feel a sting? Why do we have to get burnt? Why? Like, you know, 
you know that you're not supposed to be out here having unprotected sex, right? And then when you get burnt or you get an STD, now you want to use protection as if you are exempt from getting diseases. You understand what I'm saying? You out here having unprotected sex and then voila, you're pregnant. Okay, we're going to leave that home. Cousin, we're going to leave that one alone. So cousin, I'm going to come for you just like this. Just like you don't have no health insurance. <laughs> you don't feel like health insurance is important until you get sick. And I can speak for myself in my 20s. There was an era where I didn't, I felt healthy and until something hit me and now I'm out of my pocket paying all this money because I ain't got no health insurance. And now I'm looking for the neighborhood dope dealer. Okay. <laughs> real talk. Real talk. T to you selling drugs. You ain't going to stop selling drugs. You know you ain't supposed to be selling them drugs. But until you get caught, okay, you get locked up or or you get hurt or somebody try to kill you or you sitting up there laying in the hospital because you got a couple of holes in you, then we change. What? It's like, dude, it's, it seems like we only change. We only make the change through pain. It's through pain when we change. We got to lose the house, the dog, the car, the family, the job, the influence, your mind. And then, and then, and then we ready. Then we ready for the change. Listen, I am just here to challenge your thinking just a little bit. I'm just here to. Put a little something in your head so you can start thinking just a little bit. Just a little bit. If our concepts are democratic, y'all. If our concepts are democratic, it is going to be difficult for us to read the Bible properly. Because the Bible is kingdom living. Now I got you thinking, right? You think about it. It's kingdom living. It's kingdom all throughout the Bible. We have to focus on what Jesus said. And what did he tell us? We already know what he said. He came here to restore the kingdom. He came to restore what Adam lost. Those are just facts. And what religion usually do? Religion postpone the kingdom citizenship to a future and to a future experience. Therefore, if you cannot appropriate what you postpone. Think about that. So my job is an assignment and I'll accept it. My job is to expose you to the kingdom. I'm just going to expose it to you. I've been learning the different terminologies about the kingdom. And then I found out about the commonwealth. Right. And when you have a commonwealth society, everybody, everybody is wealthy. Nobody goes without. And you know what? It is so hard for us to accept that, believe that, and imagine that because the way our mind are conditioned to think. So it's hard for us to accept that all of us can be wealthy because all our life we had to struggle. You understand what I'm saying? We had to, we had to struggle. We can't, we can't see beyond what we see in, in front of us, right? And just because... It is unknown to you, sweetheart. Just because you don't know, it doesn't mean it don't exist. It's just foreign to you. There's a lot of things that we don't know that I haven't even been exposed to yet, but it doesn't make it right and it doesn't make it wrong. Okay? The kingdom, it challenges our, our history. Uh, because we are so conditioned uh, to uh, from our thoughts, uh, what we've been exposed to from our experiences and what mommy and daddy taught us. Okay. And until you get your own knowledge and your own understanding, then you kind of realize that, you know what, mom and dad wasn't, wasn't too right. 
Do you know that ignorance is generational? Do you know that ignorance is transferable? What's in your bloodline? What are you fighting against? You ain't even got to go far. Look at your mommy and daddy. What addiction and what habits do they have? I'll go first. I told you I'm going to be very transparent. And the only thing, only way this is going to work, y'all, if I'm going to try my best to be honest with you. And I'm going to need you to be honest with you, too. Okay? I am fighting against sexual immorality. I am fighting against depression. I am fighting against every mental uh, illness that you can even think of. I am fighting against this poverty mindset. What are you? I'm not talking about your mama. I'm not talking about your daddy, your sister or your brother or your auntie or your uncle. I'm talking about you. What are you dealing with? What are you up against? And ignorance, y'all, is, 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 is personable but never private. We see the results. What are you passing down to your children? What are you giving them to sustain them in this crazy, and you know it, this crazy world? The biggest battle, the biggest battle. I was watching that movie Deliverance, right, about a couple of weeks ago. And uh, to bring it to one synopsis, the biggest battle is yourself. At the end, the, the, the demon turned into her and she had to fight herself. You have to fight yourself. That's the biggest battle. Fighting this body. Fighting your thoughts. Fighting the feelings. Fighting all these emotions. You, you can't even tell yourself no. <laughs> You got to learn how to stand up to this. This is the battle. This is where the the battle began. Once you get this together, can't nobody can't nobody do nothing with you. The biggest challenge is remaining, remaining throughout what what life is giving you. Can you remain? Can you? Can we agree that? No, no, seriously. Can we agree? It's just me and you. Can we agree that life is testy? It ain't tasty. It's testy. <laughs> okay. Can we agree on that? See, listen, we keep trying to do it ourselves. We keep trying to do it ourselves. And you've been doing a good job. You have. But here lately, <laughs> let me check on you, boo. How you doing? You going to need uh, you going to need the father, the son and the Holy Spirit to guide you through this thing we call life. And let me tell you something, sweetheart. If I did not have this Holy Ghost GPS track in me, child, I probably wouldn't even be here. Probably be dead or for show in jail for sh- for show jail. So you going to need something to help you with this. And Lord knows, child, Lord knows I need help with these thoughts. Okay. I told you they don't get tired. Them voices don't get tired. They don't take breaks. They don't even take vacations. (laughs) They don't go nowhere. They there, stuck. And you have to learn to discipline your thoughts. Uh Uh-huh. You got to learn to discipline your thoughts. And remember, y'all, remember what I said last week. That that we have to go with our second thought because the first thought will be the sin, right? We can't help that first thought that come in there. You know what I'm saying? You can't help the first thought. So as soon as you think whatever that thought is, you got to rebuke it with the second thought. Okay? I'm trying to give you some one-on-one. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. Listen, sweetheart, God just don't want to bless you. He wants to make you the blessing. He wants you. He needs you. How is the, the only way God can show himself is through you. 
And if he bless you, can you be a blessing to others? If it flow to you, can it go through you? That's a bar. <laughs> That's a bar right there. Okay. But can it? What happened here? What happens here on earth? All depends on you. The kingdom living has to start here first. If you don't get it here, if you don't get an understanding, then you don't have it. You got to believe it first. You have to study the Bible, the laws, and the principles. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know you're tired. It seems like it's one thing after another, after another. And some of you are, are, are going to church and you just going through the, the the routine of things. You go and you and you pay your tithes and you sing in the choir and 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 then you you may go to Bible study and then you repeat it, but something is missing. So now when you go and you uh, look into that Bible, you have to read it with kingdom principle. We have to listen to what Jesus said. Religion is man um, made way to get into to God. So when you go back and your Bibles, you have to read it with a different mindset. And let me tell you, it will start to make sense. It will o- open up to you. You understand? God original purpose was to manifest the influence of heaven's culture here on earth through uh, colonizing earth with kingdom of heaven, with the kingdom of heaven mindset. Do you understand? We just got to get into it. You just got to do your part. (laughs) And I know you don't want to do your part. But you got to. It's a requirement. It's a requirement from you. Practice on working on what is drawing a wedge between you and God. You know what? Let's 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 I I, I said this before and I'm gonna say it again, right? You know that you have habits. You know you're an alcoholic. You know, you know you're a weed head. You know you're dealing with sexual immorality. Tell yourself once, stand up to yourself one time in a day. Just, you know what? I'm not going to drink right now. No, this is the part when I'm going to say no. You have to learn how to stand up for yourself. You have to learn how to deny. You got to deny yourself. Seek, pursue, and explore God's kingdom. Okay. Go back. Like I've been saying, don't take it from me. Because now now that you got something in your head, now that I put something in there, when you go back and you get into your Bible, you're going to look at it a little different. It ain't nothing. Kingdom concept. What I say? Kingdom concepts. Okay? Read it with a different mindset. Start working on yourself. It doesn't, your situation doesn't change. When you click off here, your situation is not going to change, boo-boo. But the way you see it and the way you view it, that's where the change begins. It has to change in your mind first. Don't worry. As I keep learning, you're going to keep learning too. You understand? Listen. God loves you. Mm, mm, mm. He loves him some use. You know that. Whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, you are loved by God. Thank you for allowing your girl to pour this sweet tea, y'all, of love 
inspiration and motivation. Y'all tune in next week and see what God going to do. Because I told you, I have absolutely no idea. But this I do know. Write this down, y'all. Somebody write this down. Without God, without God, man cannot. And without man, God will not. He needs you. He wants you. Are you ready? Are you ready to take back what's yours? Are you ready for this new walk? Are you ready to start living beyond what you're seeing? Are you ready? Now it ain't easy. But we know living and existing is not easy. But when we work on our minds and get our minds together, together, we're going to work on it. Oh, my God. The devil going to be mad. He going to be mad. But he can't do nothing. You hear me? So y'all go out there and you live a blessed life. Until next time, friends. Bye.